25th of May today and this is another vlog video. I know it's a bit behind so it won't be coming out on the 25th. I only put out the one that I'd done a couple of, days, couple of weeks ago when I went to CEX. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to do these uh, vlog videos. Once I catch up then the vlog videos will hopefully come out on the day or the day after I record them. So <laughs> I'll try and catch up with the videos. So I've got a few videos to come out on the for vlogging and for um, eating foods and drinks that I've never tasted before. Uh, I'm just going out for a walk into town and see what's around. As you can see the weather's nice, it started off rainy. It's been quite rainy and windy and really crappy recently but we need the rain to uh, for plants to grow so I can't complain too much. <laughs> so yeah it's, it's, it's like a nice clear day. You can see the clouds and you can see the um, sun out so I'm gonna Put on my headphones, listen to some music and get going and I'll catch up in a bit, little bit. Bye for now. So I've just been to a shop that I'd get money back because uh, we've got some out of date products. Uh, two packets of Big Crisp and a sneak, snick, Snickers peanut butter which I wanted to do for my first taste uh, series. But unfortunately that's not going to happen now. You know, I tried the Snickers Kit Kat if you remember. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. And I thought, well, why not? Why not try the Snickers peanut butter? I've never tried it before, so I might as well give it a shot. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen now. Uh, he tried saying that uh, their best before dates, not expired by dates, but the dates were last year. You know, September 2020 and December 2020. I think the Snickers were last year as well, or January of this year, I'm not sure, I can't remember now, but he accepted it, I got my refund, so I'm just heading off into town now to see if there's something else I can replace for my next video, so um, I'm going to see if I can find anything cheapish to uh, replace the Snickers video I was going to do, and see if I can find something else on the sweet inside of variety to see if there's anything else I can first taste that I've never tasted before, whether it be a drink or whether it be some chocolate or some sweets or maybe a mix of both. Uh, I might have a look in the uh, uh, sweet shop that we've got. And by sweet shop I mean like they do classic sweets. They do a few American ones as well. So I might have a little butchers in there and see what they got. So yeah, I'm going to head over there now. It's gonna do uh, a week, oh, mask goes on. Doesn't even look right, does it? <laughs> I was gonna do a video, uh, a video, I was gonna pop into HMV because they're doing um, Japanese and um, American foods. So I was gonna try that, but unfortunately, I'm a bit too late and HMV is closed because I don't want to just do the one reaction video like I've done with the Kit Kats because it's too short of a video really and I want to do a few at a time so I'm just going to head off to the uh, sweet shop and see what they've got down there and see what happens so I'll see you then the drink they're closed at 6 o'clock you thought something like Craig's would be up to about 7 at least but no they're shut at 6 so it's like a bit of a lump on my head there don't it I'm going to go to Tesco to get some uh, buns or cobs, whatever you want to call them, for my burgers later on tonight. And now I'll go see if the smaller custom, that's more custom, um, smaller, um, Greg's, that's it, Greg's. <laughs> I'll go see if the smaller Greg's is still open and see if that's open a little bit later. So I really fancy a drink. I need a drink. I'm dry and it's hot. So yeah, uh, I'll be. Just going back with Tesco's then get my cobs, rolls, babs, whatever it is you call them. What do you call them? What you put your burgers in? Do you call them rolls? Do you call them babs? Do you call them uh, cobs? Do you call them sandwiches? You know, the rolls, but you put burgers in. Uh, let me know. Leave leave a comment in the comments below. And don't forget, if you like my videos, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And ring that bell to keep up to date with all future content. As I'm trying to expand the amount of content that I bring to my channel. So... I'm just going to pop into Tesco. Uh, I'll see you in a bit. So I'm just walking by the uh, Derby Silk Mill now. It's now reopened after they've been doing work on this part 
of the building and on the other side of the building where they're making a new museum. Uh, it's quite lovely and peaceful here, quite nice for walk. You get cyclists and joggers coming along this bit as well. So as you can see the river, which goes all the way through the town and all the way up through the park. This part is up quite uh, popular with joggers and cyclists. Uh, I've got to say in that the sweet shop was also closed, so I couldn't get any American sweets in there either. I only wanted one or two just to make the video a bit longer. In when I do foods I ain't tasted, food and drinks I ain't tasted video, I mean that'd be a bit longer for you guys. So uh, it's just not too short. Um, I got my drink. I had to get it from McDonald's, one sixty nine for a large cappuccino. Um, got my daughter a. Happy Meal toy because we ain't been into McDonald's a while, so I thought I'd get a Happy Meal toy. They're, they're, they're not what they used to be, Happy Meal toys, are they? But these days, they're a load of rubbish. You know, you get a pack of Pokemon cards. I mean, I ain't got nothing against Pokemon in there, but what five year old, or nearly five year old, wants fucking Pokemon cards? Excuse my language. So, yeah, uh, not too happy about that when you've got to squig out a pound for it. So. No, I don't smoke, sorry. So, um, I'm not too happy about that really. I mean, the toys aren't as good. I know people, kids these days go, oh, you're just old. But, but McDonald's toys back in my day were the bomb. You had proper toys, toys that you collected, toys that you pestered your parents to go so you can get the full collection. You know, Pizza Hut used to have themed meals where you can get themed cups. I remember getting the uh, X Men cups, like from the cartoon series. I think I had a Storm and Wolverine, which is really good because Wolverine was my favourite, so I was really happy about that. Now, I don't know what Burger King's Happy Meal toys are like, I don't know if they even do a kid's meal or whatever, so I don't know, but it's just not really that good these days, especially for the amount they charge it as well. So, yeah, I just feel that McDonald's ain't putting the effort in. You know, where's the uh, Ronald McDonald toys? You know, they, they still be relevant to kids these days. We used to get different themed Ronald, Ronald McDonald ones. You know, we had action figures of them, we had um, the cars. I know when the Olympics were around, they had um, these potato things, just let these uh, joggers come through. Actually, it's a very popular jogging site along this, along this route. It's quite peaceful along here as well. I think I already said that, didn't I? Um, yeah, in the Olympics one year, you had these potatoes that you put, a bit like Mr. Potato Man, but a uh, different Olympic uh, track. So you had the running one, you had the one that pole vaulted, you had the one that jumps, and you get little, you'll cut out the boxes to make like little running track and that, you know? They, they, they were, they were good days. <laughs> Not like the crap you get in Happy Meals now. I've not been impressed with the last three lots of Happy Meal toys. And overall I'm not that impressed with them anyway. You know, I've, since my daughter's been having Happy Meals, I've just not been overly impressed with them. I think this is a load of garbage really. You know, some of the Happy Meals toys that I had, they lasted me a few years. My daughter's Happy Meal toys and two years ago are gone. Because they're rubbish. They're cheap. Cheap shit, really. Excuse my language. It is English, so don't worry. But, yeah. Not... Oh, the sun's still out. There's a bit of dark clouds around, but the sun's still out, so it's alright. So, yeah. I'm not too happy about that, really. So, that's my uh, rant. <laughs> it's the first time you've heard me rant on one of my videos, so... <laughs> uh. Yeah, so I'm just on my way. I'm taking the detour on the way home uh, through this part. This path I'm on leads, if you go back that way, up that way, it leads to the park that's near mine. That's where we just came from, that way, over that bridge. I will do a video of the park. I've done a few lives of the park that's near me. Uh, Darla Park and Darla Abbey. And I've done videos of the waterfalls that you can see on the playlist. It's a... Uh, so I just scratched my face there. It's in the... Oh, look at that. You've got a... I don't know if you can see, and there's people canoe down across the river. I 
that's the old, that's the old coat that you can see them. There's a there's a club just up the river from here, so um, they often practicing up and down this river. They can only go so far into town before they have to turn back round again because of the uh, waterfalls near the town centre. Well, I say town centre, but it's really on the edge of town by where the bus station is. I think you've seen that in my video as well when uh, we done the um, when we had the flood in a few years back. You'd have seen it then. So. Yeah, it's a nice day actually. It's it's not it's not too hot, but it's not too cold either. So it's it's a nice day to have a, a little walk out really, until you hear noisy people coming along and disturbing the peace. A few little baby birds there. Uh, quite really really small. I don't know if you. I oh know Flo. I don't know if you'll be able to see them in the got in the backlight so um, yeah, there's quite a few quite a few um, birds around I don't know if you can hear them or not and something's just jumped in the river actually two things I can't see what it was it might be ducks I'm not sure it, 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 could, it could have been ducks but just there's just like two big splashes in the river. We've got some more rowers. That's it, they're rowers. This is a single rower, I don't know. Just see them going past there. That's another rower going through. That's a single one. The first one was a double. This one's a single. And I said if you just go over that bridge over there, then I think you can see just about the bridge, yeah. Just over the bridge over there, you can just see the video. So, a uh, video, you can see the bridge, and just off, over there, you've got the uh, canoeing club. So, it's going to be quite chilly now. Here's some dog walkers being silly and making noise. Um, yeah, so I'm not too far from home actually. It's only just around the corner from where I'm walking. So, I'm just going to finish up my cappuccino, 169 for a large one, in McDonald's, but I get a sticker, so once that's filled up on the card, then I'll be able to um, get a free drink. Hey! I don't know, I'm just get home and I'll see you in a bit. So I'm back home now. I've just uh, put the shopping away that I got. I've just put the uh, beans out because it's beans out tomorrow, and I've just put the recycling out. So I think that concludes today's vlog, really. So I need to go and cook myself something to eat, and I shall see you in the next one. Sorry about the uh, McDonald's Happy More toy rant. <laughs> oh, soon there'll be a vlog coming up of me going up to York to the NRM, which is the National Rail Museum because I'm taking my daughter up there as a surprise trip. Like me, she's a train nut, she loves her trains. Uh, I, can't, I don't know if she remembers that I said I was going to take her or not, so um, I'm not going to actually tell her when we actually go. Uh, just going to get her up, have some breakfast, take her to the train station, get on the train. When she says we're, where we're going, I'm just going to go for a ride. And then I'm going to take her to the train museum and see how she reacts to all those trains because you've got the first hall which is fairly big it's quite cool but then you've got the main hall which is most mahusif really really big and if they got the uh, train rides the train ride open the steam train ride open hopefully they do fingers crossed then hopefully we can get her on that as well which will be really great for her i can't wait to see a reaction when we get there so I'm going to sign off now and do my dinner. I'm actually going to, I think, I'm not sure yet, uh, record doing my dinner as another vlog. Vlog? Vlog? Then a vlog, yeah. <laughs> another vlog. And well, I'll see you then. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and don't forget to hit that bell notification to keep up to date with all future content. And I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye for now. So I'm just outside now in my house. This is a little bonus extra clip from today's vlog. 
Uh, the ice cream man's just been even. It's a little bit chilly out here. I've always wanted to try one of these. It's the uh, Biscoff biscuit ice cream. I just got from the ice cream man, Mr. Whippy. Um, I like the Biscoff biscuits, or as my daughter calls them, coffee biscuits, because you get them with coffees in uh, cafes and that. So I'm gonna try this. I'm really pleased with that now. I'm actually having it before my dinner because the ice cream man came in just as I was about to cook dinner, but I wasn't going to wait till tomorrow in case um, he didn't turn up. So I'm going to enjoy this, and I hope that you will have a great day. Mm. That really goes well with that. It really goes well nice. And there's toffee cream on it. Toffee sauce on there as well, I've just noticed. Oh, sorry. A bit of an itch there, you're getting a bit of a close-up for me today. <laughs> so, uh, there are some new videos coming out soon, or some videos that should be out soon. I've decided that I'm going to put the vlogs out. So, in some videos, my hairstyle, or my beard, may be clean-shaven or, or a bit grown. It's because instead of putting out everything, every video singly and waiting for me to do the other videos, I've decided that I'm going to do the vlogs and the tasting videos separately so they're not going to be running one out in order of how I film them. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye for now.